Hello and welcome to Chirpcraft. My name is Chris and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to set up an advanced storage system. Um, take it like if it's a mod there called Applied Energistics. Um, it's really about advanced storage and um, advanced crafting. Uh, today I'm just going to show you the basics of the storage because um, I don't think you really need to know any more than what I'm about to show you um, to learn the rest of it on your own. Uh, there's a few other components. If you do want me to show the rest of them, uh, leave some comments and I'll uh, upload another video um, explaining the rest of them. But for now, I'm just going to show you the basics of uh, getting up a, a a system going. So, the first thing you're going to want is an ME controller. Okay. So this is your first thing. So what this is going to be, I'm going to be able to store all this and uh, move it around really easily um, without using loads of chests and every time you want to move somewhere uh, you can take it all in one go um, so first thing you want is that now you need to power this um, so I'm just going to use my normal industrial craft so if I get some glass cable, glass fibre cables and connect this up you see it gets powered so right click that and it tells you how much it's even using. In this box it'll tell you what other systems you've got uh, connected to this controller. So this is your first box, you need this to uh, do anything. So um, you get this, all this stuff is um, it's quite hard to build. Um, and they all use, that's not what I clicked on is it? Where is it? Uh, used quartz, uh, advanced processors and then it's not too hard to make but diamond. Um, so it does require diamonds, it does require gold, so it's going to be a um, thing you get later in the game. Uh, diamonds are easy to get, as you know, from the diamond generator um, that we've got outside. Um, so right, once you've got the controller, you then can use uh, one of two things. You can either get your drive, which is one of these. You can pop that next to it, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then you can also get an ME chest. So we get a chest down there. Now, what we also need in here is a storage uh, drive. So that's these things up here. So as you can see, you've got a 1K, 16K, and a 64K, and a 4K. Um, why they're in that order, I don't know. Um, so we're just going to start off with the basic one, which is 1K. Now, each item actually hold, uh, changes into data, in a sense. So you put your drive in the top of your chest, and now whatever you put into this chest goes onto this drive. So in this case, I'm going to put all this top row in there. So now, if I take this back, you'll see there's nothing in there. Put it back in, and all your stuff's in there. So if you like, if you like me, you like to make multiple areas that you like to stay. If you uh, set up this in each one, you can carry multiple items um, to and from, and just put them into a computer uh, into your system and you can take all these items in one item slot so there's no more transferring multiple chests and walking backwards and forwards it's just simply pull it into here what you will notice is that if you highlight over it it tells you some uh, information it says 144 of uh, 1024 bytes used so each of these items um, gets changed basically into a byte um, each one has a different value um, I don't know the values I just tend to fill it up and then once it's full it's full um, and it can only hold obviously 63 types um, so these stacks I think will actually get bigger so if I got another stack of uranium um, I'll have to come out for that and I put that in there you see it goes up as well so they can all store it isn't in stacks um, so you can have up to 63 items so once that's full it's full um, and that's your disk. Now, what this drive does is you can put this in, so you can have all your drives into one. So you haven't got to have multiple ones of these. You don't even have to have one of these. You only use it to put stuff on a disk, really. Um, so that's in your drive. Now, the next thing you want to be able to put down is a ME terminal. Uh, oh, it's not a terminal. It's a. It is something terminal. An access terminal. So once we get one of them, we're going to put that down. Now each of these do need power, but they all power each other. So if, as long as they're next to each other, they'll power each other. If you don't want them next to each other, you can get an ME cable. 
which is this and all you do is you literally plonk that down like normal cables and it will connect each one um, okay so now we've got our drive in here if I take this out and I click on this there's nothing in there see uh, there is a problem with this obviously I often use E to close the, um, the interface um, but because you've got a search function it just does that so you have to use escape um, now if I put this in here and click this it'll show you everything that's on your system so everything that's in your drives will appear in your terminal so you see it's empty again now if I want to make multiple drives so I get another storage uh, if we get another one of them, and we'll put that one in, and we'll fill it up with this. There we go. So, uh, and now take that out. Right click this, put that in there, and that in there. You'll now see that both lots are in there. And you can also search it. So, if I just want copper ore. So, once you've got really you've got loads of stuff um, you can put it all into your drives and you click one box and everything you've got in is in there so that is a very simple storage system um, four machines they're not very hard to build it's once you've got the materials it's really easy um, obviously you've got the um, recipe and the usage button that you can click on so if you want to add to build it just push R and it brings up the recipe anyway and if you don't know how to build a certain piece in that right click that don't have to build that right click that tells you how to do it and then you click that so there's a few bits that uh, you are gonna have to learn to uh, build a few recipes um, but once you've done it you've uh, you've got a system so you haven't got to have multiple chests and it's all searchable as well so you haven't got to keep look going through one chest and then another chest and another chest and it's all in one uh, little area plus everything you've got on this disk I can now walk around I've got all that stock with me and I can take it to another computer or terminal drive uh, pull it in and I've got access to it there um, so that's your advanced uh, storage systems um, yeah let me know if you want to know the rest of the uh, rest of the mods that are in, in the pack and uh, I'll do a video on them but this is the basics and this is what you're going to be using at the start um, so I hope that helps and thanks for watching bye